All right. First draft. So. There's our first option, you know, G, B, D, or sorry, G, D, B, D. I guess it'd be awesome to start on up every time, but realistically we're just alternate picking, so we'll end up on down a bunch, but you could go up, down, up, down, up. Oh no, I'm tripping, that's just up, down, up, down. Then try to get to like... So then, where else could you play that? Or rather... Or, so yeah, there, there's, excuse me, here's our other good option, be, which would be doing it as an arpeggio, like, and I would probably work on that too, um, cause then you have to, or you'd have to roll off, uh, and it looked like from the video we saw that he was using that phrase for his rhythm part, but yeah, so, and it doesn't really sound as good if we go with that fretted all the way through, so it'd be like your ring finger would be fret on fret. So, like that. Then we could also go... So yeah, those are your good options for riff one, as we'll call it. Beta -do -do, beta -do -do. Next thing I'm hearing is... At 20 seconds-ish, so... Um, D and, uh, and B. It's super sick that I had to do that when it's the B string, right? I'm impressed as well. So, maybe try to get like, with that tempo or something like that. What else? Then we get, so, like that. Um, that's it. Not that, but cool. And then, also, if we had to take a guess at the rhythm, it might be something like... It seemed like he was playing this a lot um, in the. Uh... That actually sounds pretty cool. So um, seven eight zero zero, and then go on the fourth string. We were so heavily flanged out at that point, or whatever it is, manual wah wah out and layered, that it's tough to exactly know what's going on. But maybe some, something like that would at least sound cool over the, um, the high parts. And definitely looping these would be a fun task. So there we go. Um, and then let's skip towards the end of the song when there was some other crazy stuff. If I remember correctly, it was like... Yeah, all right, I'll find that one. All right, maybe around 250-ish, we get this thing that loops super awesome on an, an acoustic, but let's see. So, yeah, so, it was a... Uh, So it's so that's um and then so I'm going back and forth with the uh, G up top. So excuse me. Bum, 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 bum. Um, and I think that's pretty solid. So down here, that'd be like, uh, let's see. Yeah. And 
the chances are that's probably some kind of uh, effect echo thing or uh, or whatever. But I think we can actually play it. I mean, it's a pretty ridiculous reach, but it's right in the realm of should actually be doable. Um, so we can definitely think of that as kind of like a hyperbole. Maybe it's happening. Maybe it's an effect, but it could be good for dexterity, anyways. Um, and there's that one other track we looked at of theirs, which we thought there could be kind of a rhythm part for. Yeah, so like... So we're going... would be so yeah three skip zero three which is like an abbreviated G minor chord you can be like with open strings instead of G minor seven you can go with the D string open um, and then yeah then so like something like those through the wall of sound is potentially actually happening. <laughs> 